Hey, what's going on guys? Soul here, back with another weapon guide, and today we're going to be going over the new Valor Heart Sword and Shield combo. So without taking up any more time, let's get right into the moveset. So, it's been a while since I've played, but I shook the dust off and holy shit was I amazed with this weapon. This could probably be labeled as a god tier weapon if the range wasn't ridiculously short. It's got speed, power, and the ability to block your opponent's attacks while you're attacking. It acts as if it has hyper armor and can even poise straight through greatsword attacks and keep steamrolling through your opponent. The best way I've been able to use this weapon was as a counter. Attack when you see your opponent attack and let the shield block the attacks for you. The potential with this weapon is insane, but there are a few major setbacks of this weapon, and we'll get into that shortly. First off, parry baiting. I honestly didn't really parry with this weapon because you don't really need to, but I always kept a small iron shield on me just in case. The two shields kind of look similar, and I was able to throw off my opponents by switching between them. Charged R2s and jumping attacks work just fine for baiting as usual. Keep practicing your timing, you'll be playing the fuck out of your opponents in no time. Next up is the weapon arts. The L2R1 is a forward thrust with insane range, best used for closing in on your opponent and ending combos if your opponent is trying to roll away. But the L2R2 is a shield dash. It can block pretty much any attack no matter the weapon and it can be followed up with an R1 for a true combo. It also has the ability to instantly guard break turtling opponents. The range is as far as a lion head reaches. You don't have to be right in their face like I am. Uh, shout out to Reddit user Unagi88. He helped me test out the guard break abilities of this weapon. I appreciate the help man and I'm sorry I try to steal your sights from you. And now the negatives of the weapon. I told you before the weapon blocks while you attack so you can get some crazy kills with this. But this isn't always a good thing. I was constantly getting guard broken when I first started using this weapon because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Uh, do not spam this weapon especially if your opponent has a great or ultra great weapon. It will drain your stamina so quickly and get you absolutely wrecked. And now the best thing about this weapon, the combo. The combo is R1, R1, R2 into a jumping attack and then topped off with the L2, R1 weapon art. This shit instant kills and has worked consistently for the last 48 hours I've been playing. This combo is so disgusting and looks so fucking good pulling it off. As everyone already knows, the R1, R1, R2 combo has been known for a while, but the two-handed jumping attack has so much range it can catch people double rolling away from you. Follow it up with an L2, R1 weapon art if you see them retreating to clean up the kill. Or if you see them getting ready to attack out of the combo, go into another R1, R1 since the recovery time and speed of the attacks is almost instant. So this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this guide and I'd like to hear your thoughts on this weapon. I honestly think that while this weapon does have some minor setbacks, it's a solid PvP weapon all around. Not too powerful, but not crappy either. What do you think? As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back doing more guides and PvP videos in the coming weeks. With that said, I'll leave you with the rest of this fight, and peace the fuck out.